Hello! In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to extract data from a listings page with a Show More button using Parsub. To begin, open the Parsub client and click on New Project. Here, enter the URL of the website that you would like to scrape. In this case, I'll be scraping a page from Telexo that I've already looked up. Click on Start Project on this URL. Once the page loads, you will see three areas within the Parsub client. The left side contains the project structure and settings. The middle contains an interactive view of the website. And the bottom section allows you to preview your data in either CSV or JSON formats. This particular website allows you to load more listings by clicking on a Show More button at the bottom of the page. We want to click on this button multiple times and scrape the results that load on the page. To start, click on the plus sign next to Select Page, click Advanced, and then choose a loop command. In this command, we are going to type Create Array in this section right here. In parentheses will be the number of times that we want Parsub to click on the Show More button. For this example, I will have Parsub click on it 10 times. Next, we want to tell Parsub what command to loop through 10 times. Click on the plus sign next to the loop command and choose a select command. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and using the select command, click on the show more button. You will see that Parsub successfully selected the button because it is highlighted in green. You can rename this command by double-clicking on it. In this case, I will rename it Show More. To tell Parsub to click on the selected button, you want to nest the click command under the selection. To do this, click the plus sign next to the select command and choose a click. A pop-up will load asking if this is the next page button to which we will respond no and continue executing on the current template. Now that the loop that loads more results is set up, we can now start selecting and extracting the data that we want to scrape. In this case, I want to scrape the names of these products as well as their prices. Click on the plus sign next to select page and choose a select command. Using this command, click on one of the product names on the page. You will see that Parsub is selecting the product name in green and highlighting similar elements in yellow. To select the rest of the product names, click on one of the products highlighted in yellow. Parsub will automatically extract the name and URL of these products, but if you are not interested in the URL, you can click on the X next to the extraction command. You can also rename this selection to product, for example. If you encounter a product name that is not selected, you can click on the product name while on the select command. This will tell Parsub to include these products in your selection. You can see that Parsub is selecting 108 elements on the page because of the number in parentheses in the select command. Now we want to extract the price of each product, which on this website is displayed in Indian rupees. To do this, we are going to use a relative select command so that each price is related to its product in our data output. Click on the plus sign next to select product and choose a relative select command. All of the product's names will now be highlighted in orange. Click on one of these highlights and this will give us an arrow that we can use to relate each product with their price. We are only interested in discounted prices, but this container contains both discounted and regular prices. What we can do is hold Command on Mac or Control on PC while hovering over the container and hitting the 2 key a number of times. This will zoom in on the text node containing the discounted price, which we can then click on and select while keeping Command held down. For any products that do not have a discounted price, we can add the regular prices to the relative select command by clicking on the product's name, holding down the Command key, 
and clicking on the regular price. You can rename this command by double clicking on it, and for this example, I will rename it price. To test run this project and make sure it is working properly, we can click on Get Data at the bottom of the page and click Test Run. Test Run allows you to run the project locally on your own computer to help you understand how it's behaving. The Step In button will run through your project one step at a time. The Play button will slowly run through your project, allowing you to see what the project is doing. The Fast Forward button allows you to quickly play through your project and see the extracted data. While playing or fast forwarding, you can also pause your test run. If you hit the Stop button, the test run will close and you will return to the project page. To retrieve your data, click on the Get Data button and then on Run. This will run your project on Parsub servers and collect your data. This box above will let you know the status of your current run. When your project is finished running, you can download your data in CSV or JSON formats. We also have an API that you can use to integrate your data with other applications. In this tutorial, I've shown you how to extract data from a listings page using a Show More button with ParseHub. If you have any questions about your own project, feel free to contact us at hello at parsehub.com. We're always happy to help.